Hey kids, we got something special. Um, Bondo Billy. Remember when we tried to do the scallops on Bonnie, how bad that went because of the lagging? Remember that? Well, we're gonna try something else. And we're gonna try to do something on uh, this guy. It's gonna be a secret. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna actually be doing uh, like a, a FaceTime kind of thing, Google Meet, whatever, you know. He's gonna be talking to me, this be live. We're gonna record that and we're gonna put it right after this. But we're gonna need on there. Stick around. Yeah. In a world where everyone seems to be in a hurry, there is a place where things aren't quite as hectic. Here, a father and daughter have teamed up to breathe new life into relics from the past. Now it's time to meet Peyton. She's not your average teenager. Since she was old enough to hold a wrench, she's been in the garage learning the art of car restoration from her father, Chad, a seasoned Army veteran with a head full of knowledge and a passion for classic cars. With each new project, Peyton learns the values of hard work, patience, and the pride that comes with doing something yourself. In their garage, it's not just about the cars, it's about family, memories, and the love of the open road. Welcome to Honest Peyton's Speed Shop. Well, hmm. we spent about two hours uh, with uh, Bondo Billy on, uh, on our meet, you know, um, and uh, number one, it didn't record all of it for either of us, and number two, no audio. Even though I said I wanted audio, it didn't give me any... Uh, I even said selected audio, but it didn't, it didn't audio. So, um, that was a problem. And, um, the worst part is that was two hours of us laying out a flame. Now, look, Peyton and I, we tried. We struggled, but we, <laughs> something. I can't say we won, I can't say we lost, but what I can say is something happened, and there it is. I mean, it's a little bit wonky here and there, but I'll tell you what, pretty cool. It was awesome that uh, Bondo Billy took the time to uh, spend with us, um, and it was, uh, it was so much fun. I wish to show you all of it. Now, there will be some uh, <laughs> stuff that uh, has no audio that I'll plug in here. Maybe I'll put some music over it or something. So you guys can see how we did it. And uh, you saw the end result. And, uh, well, <laughs> you know what? It was It was a lot of fun. It was a big learning experience for both of us. And... Um, you, we just could not, uh, thank Bonnabilly enough for, uh, even he kind of offered, uh, to do it, uh, if we wanted to kind of like we did the scallop around Peyton's birthday last year and kind of did it again this year around her birthday. So, um, anyway, there'll be some footage of it, uh, just some, you know, it's, you know, it's going to be a thing. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, and then the other thing I forgot to do was I forgot to make us the big thing. So Billy's like this. He's up there going, no, nope, you're terrible. Oh, how, who let you have those cars? Actually, he did not say any of that. That was all made up. He just was super patient with us. And uh, so that was, it was great. Um, hope you enjoy the stuff. Um, we'll see you in a little bit. I just went through the whole video and um, our part was literally just turning the car around and we were talking. At one point he, um, I would say, man. Well, anyway, 
<laughs> ah, well, you know what? We'll just we'll just carry on and do another thing. Uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this part of the video. <laughs> uh, all right, stick around for whatever we do next. Hello. Chad from North Peak Beach Up. We're gonna install another alternator. By the, another alternator, I mean the same alternator that we've taken out multiple times. We're also gonna be working on some crazy camera angles just for funzos. Mm -hmm. No, I don't know. Yeah, oh, there they go. Yep, mm -hmm. yeah, look at that. Let's go right here. This general area. So what I'm going to do, literally, literally, is I'm going to spin it around like 15 times, because that's what I just did. This guy. All right. I'm going to put that in there, like that. And then, the first thing I put it in here. Like that, right? Mm-hmm. And then we have stuff in the road. In the road. Hey, one of my favorite Beatles songs is Why Don't We Do It In The Road. You guys like that one? Put it down in the comments if you like that one. Okay. So then we take our spacer because this is not a Chevrolet. Because why would we, you know, sorry. Those of you who love the fjords here. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, cool, look at that. And then we'll just kind of pop it in there. I know, I'm getting really good at it. Yeah. Now we need to put our wire on, which is somewhere in the mess there. We got that and some other stuff. And we're gonna fire this girl up. Then we're gonna move it up. So, I think that's what we're gonna do. Finish putting this on. Do you guys want to watch Struggle Bus or do you want to not? Maybe I should get a new belt. Right here. Let's check out the belt. Why are you guys always so low? Let's turn it over here. Oh, that's a pretty hard belt. It's pretty stiff. It looks like it's in pretty good shape, but it's definitely not very flexible anymore. You know, it's holding its shape a little too well. <laughs> so I think we're gonna we're gonna go to oh 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 Riley's Auto Parts. Ow! Let's get a belt. And my only concern is they're going to ask me to make a model. I'm going to be like, I don't know, Ford, 28, engines out of a 96, Mustang, 347. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to just, we're going to tight, make sure everything's getting tight on here before we start cutting up that thing, because I'll tell you what, we need to do that, right? We need to get this thing tightened up, cleaned up. Oof, who's been driving this? Down dirt roads. So we're going to pause. We're going to pause. And uh, we're going to get a belt. Because I don't think this one's doing the belt thing anymore. Now we will, of course, save this as a, a spare, as a backup, as a plan B, as it were. Anyway. And, uh, Maybe we'll wash this little girl down. It's needing it. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with it. So. Someone's coming in here. Someone's walking in here. You know, you try to leave the door open. It's a little air going through here. You know what happens? People. I wonder what I did now. Stick around. 
Foreman let a fly in here. All right, so you know I was messing around with the plugs on on Miss Bonnie here. Now check that out, right? It's it's not bad. I mean, it's it's a little rich, but not bad. I mean, still got the tan. Not too bad. So anyway, I just clean it up, and you know, and then pull this guy. Same thing. No, not bad. But this one has a has a little problem. So <laughs> we're gonna get some spark plugs too, apparently. Yeah, I mean, you know, and, and then look, I mean it's stuff's been happening here, you know. It's been it's been happening. <laughs> uh, I guess one too many of those mm, yep, mm-hmm, Bonnie's great. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. Well, let's see if they have them in stock. If not, I gotta get them on the. I gotta get the ordering done, and I'll have to take this one for a walk. Yeah. So we'll see if they have them. But it's running Motocraft AG. I don't have my glasses on, so bear with me. AG. SF32C motorcraft. So, looks like Bonnie's getting a tune up. We should probably take more of the distributor cap over at it, honestly. That's another show. Maybe this is why I rode the Lightning. Who knows? But it's not, it's not, not what you call awesome, you know? I mean, Anyway, so, anywho's, thanks Derek, I totally stole that one from you. Hey, you guys checking out uh, Midnight Customs too? Yep. Yeah, I know, I want to see more on that, that uh, C20. All right, well, I guess a little part searching and then um, I'm going to shut it down for today, I guess, and uh, find some dinner. See you next time. So <clears throat> I checked with my local O'Reilly's and they don't have any in stock. Tuesday, it's the earliest they can get them. So I just went on to the eBay and ordered eight for less dough, which is, I know it's not always the best thing to do, support local businesses and stuff, you know, but look, save me a little bit of cash. Now I'm going to check with Napa and stuff. I do have to do some running around tomorrow. So um, we're just going to have to um, do the thing, you know, we're going to have to push Bonnie outside. Um, then we're gonna have to get get it out of the way. Get this guy, this this one outside too, and picked up so we can take that wood out from underneath. Maybe we'll end up setting it down out there and flipping the uh, stand over, and we can get some better uh, wheels for it. Cut those off and weld some better ones on there. Which maybe we'll do that too. So. Kind of dead in the water until tomorrow. Yep. So, until we meet again. Hey kids, it's the next day from whatever day it was that I did the thing. Anyway, um, I've got to do some running around. I gotta go to Harbor Freight. Got to go to uh, O'Reilly's and get a belt. And then I'm going to talk about some other stuff that I discovered on uh, Miss Bonnie there. So I'm going to do that run around. I'll bring you back. You ever go to Harbor Freight and you think, I'm going to need a cart today. <laughs> well, that's today. Um, also, if you're not listening to Elvis Presley every now and then, let's say you need to do that. You know, John Lennon once said, if there was no Elvis, 
there would be no Beatles. Look it up. All right, back for Harbor Freight. Um, I needed a cart. But that was just because I had a couple big things. Not, not too bad. Um, picked up some more screwdrivers. Uh, another strap for in there so we could pick it up better. Um, instead of having to try to balance it, you know, on one. Or get all janky with it. Anyway, I think I want to talk to you about with Bonnie. Um, there... The, the, all the lighters are soft still, but the ends are getting pretty hard. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean bad things, but since I'm going to be, you know, in here doing stuff, you know, and, uh, thought we might as well order some wires. So we're kind of going to be done a little bit for now um i've just got the spark plug sitting in the seat there and what we're gonna need to do now is get some plug wires going now these look like they're you know they're not 90 right i think these are 135 degree and i'll hold on to these though in case something goes sideways but um I never did make it to O'Reilly's to get a belt. So that didn't help. So now, <laughs> we're, I'm just gonna shut it down here. Um, we got some other stuff going on. I'm just gonna push this out and move this over so I can uh, move it outside. I do some of those things that, we to do, that I would talk about doing. So, um, anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed whatever this was. Um, maybe I'll be back to finish it up, or maybe we'll start a new video. So, till then, kids. All right. Well, <coughs> decided to do one more thing before we shut it down. Um, just gonna get some help from somebody that you guys might know. Here she comes. She's got some sort of weird outfit on. I don't know what it is. So what I'm going to do is we're, we're going to show you how that thing works once and for all. Not that, because we know that doesn't work. This does. All right. Want to say hi? Hi. My hair's a mess. Well, okay. Probably just got out of bed. <laughs> all right, it's Wendy. Peyton's worried about something dropping on her foot. If something drops on her foot, it's going to be that. Okay, we get it. All I'm going to do, I'm going to pick this turd up with that turd. If it breaks, you're going to see it live right here, right now. Right, here we go. Do you need me help, by the way? I just need you to make sure. So we're still pulling a little bit crooked. That's okay. Because it's not too bad to lift up. We just got to get this guy centered a little bit better. But it's pretty good. So what we're going to do. She goes, wow, I was expecting you to struggle. All right, so we're done with this thinger. You can see we can rotate it right around by yourself when you have the room. You just straight that, You're not straight that, but There you have it, one creepy. All right, so something else. I was having problems with my yes welder. You know I took it apart and I was getting frustrated. Well, here's what happened actually. So the wire, like the spool was like this. It was like just kind of messed up back here. 
So what it was doing is it was causing this, the wire to want to jump off. And so now <laughs> I got it. I just ran it out and I welded and welded and welded and welded and welded and with it. And that's been good. And now it's staying where it's supposed to. Everything's tightened up nice. So anyway, no extra parts, which is cool. So that's an update on this. Tim? No, for, no worries. It's, uh, it's doing fine. Okay, kids. So we had a little change of plan because something showed up today that I needed. So we've got to do, well, we got to do some other stuff today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get some stuff cleared out of here. That. that and uh we'll bring you back show you what's going on yeah i know <clears throat> you're gonna say let's play this so that's the first part of the video well wheels came and i want to change them so i gotta do this and the wheels are gonna be part of the video so guess what else is basically just picking it up enough to get the card out from underneath it I can remember which one's which. Not that one. But literally just enough. Just enough. All we're doing. Now we're gonna set it down. Waiting on plugs. I had to order them. I'd say it works. What do you think? Looks like I got it. Oh, hey, hold on. Chow! People <clears throat> laughed at me. You said it would never work. right now what we're gonna do we're gonna get this that that and that off and then we're gonna set up the wheels i just wanted that in the background i moved from over there over here putting these on 2200 pounds all four swivel all four Lost my grinder. I got the welder out there. Feel like that dude. Have you seen my baseball? Let's, let's do this. If you guys knew that it was right there and you didn't say something, you should go apologize to your mom. Not good. Now when you're chopping up a cart, it was almost like these welds were done by me.
that's all we're doing. So this is what I pulled off. So I'm putting on, they're about the same height, but this one spins and uh, that's gonna be better. I'm gonna cut that one off and then we'll show you the welding. Now, before you go welding on junk like this, you uh, clean up, I'll clean up all the way around. Both of them, even where my ground is going, and then clean up all the paint. And then I made sure that didn't fall. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, I got this on spot, I think, or I'm gonna, and then what I'm gonna do, is I'm just gonna zing this one on here. That's the plan anyway. Yep, we got it on spot. We're gonna fit, take this guy, we're gonna sham a lamb it right there. I don't know what sham lama is, but something. It's a gorgeous night where I wouldn't be doing this outside. Well, you know what? I probably should be doing it outside. We can't do that. Not yet, anyway. I'm just spotting it on there. In case I gotta cut it off for whatever reason. Alrighty. So We'll do that after a bit. All right, got one left right here. The welds were a little bit clumpy and glumpy and whatever. B, not good. So, we're having to deal with unevenness then. But these are fun. When that's off, we'll bring it back around. Yep, I'm using my Arc Captain, MiG 200. I've just got it set up on a 110 flux core. Uh, the setting I have is uh, 14 volts, 45 amps. Um, it doesn't mean to really do anything. I mean, it's got to hold in place. So I've got two more welds to do on the bottom there. We're going to look underneath here safely because that's that's safe, right? Well, it's not getting any safer. Make sure you wear safety glasses. I'm gonna finish packing those two. Then I'm gonna look and see what that wood looks like I'll bring you with. All right, that's done. Let's clean up a little bit. Then we're gonna get into that and see what's going on. I got three bolts cut off. And then a wood will drop down. It's just, they're rusty. I'm not gonna even bother messing with it. You get the old <laughs> slice of matic in there. See what happens if it doesn't work? Well, heck, we know this will pick it up and all that. Let's try it. Now that we've got our safety glasses on, earplugs, tough. I'm gonna cut them off. I don't recommend this, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So I don't condone things, but I won't stop you. You know what I'm saying? All right. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Put this back down. Put it back in there. Then do it when I've got uh, a spotter. So let's do that. I want to get down it. Yep, you know what I'm saying. If you don't, that's too bad. I've got some body mount holes. What I'm going to do. I'm just gonna pull this forward a little bit at a time until I get them lined up. And then we can be close. Push it back. Okay. Got him in there. So now we're pretty close to where it needs to sit, pretty much. All right, let me get a couple more screwdrivers. just to hold it in place for the now. One. There. Now, we should be fairly centered-ish. Is that a word? There's now. Heck yeah, man. Hold on a second. All right, that off of there. Just gonna slide it over to the junkyard. Oh, yeah, huh. very quick. About wrapped up the season. All right, stick around. All right, now we're gonna put Creepy away for tonight. Now. <laughs> Live test drive on the new wheels right now. Please with this. Now those wheels will hold 2,200 pounds. So that's cool. kids. What do we learn over the course of a few days? One. Uh, yes. Two. Bondo Billy was super awesome for helping us. Hope you enjoyed the little <laughs> that went up there. Um, three, we learned that there's no reason to doubt my skills when it comes to building a gantry out of reclaimed lumber. Now, I am no engineer. I'm no structural anybody. I'm just a dude who had some stuff who built a gantry who could pick up a car. So, do with that as you will. Now, all right. So, the other things that I've been doing is I did a little bit on the old uh, Bowling Brothers frame. And by that I was like, well, let's see. So there was, you know, there was surface rust and stuff, right? Oh. 
No, there's damage from a Model A. You'd think that I'd know, but I don't. What we're gonna do with this, we're just gonna grab this guy and pull her backwards. That's what we're doing. What was I saying? Oh yeah, surface rust. So, I just took wire wheel, you know, the disc, like that stripping, you know, the plastic stripping thing, disc thing. That thing. Start cleaning up, because uh, we're gonna get it in primer before it's cold. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy <laughs> slow motion project creepy thanks so much for the bowling brothers to the bowling brothers for helping us out there got a rear end i've got some plans of the great here coming up real soon for uh creepy because i really would like to uh get going on it because it needs to happen oh we can Take something off the thing. We'll move body place on the cart. Yeah, that's one down. What else we got? Front axle suspension, got to bring them in. No idea. Started that, mm-hmm, yep, yeah. no, nope. okay. What do we got over here? Nope, nope, no, 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 and no. A few things we gotta add though. Battery. Clyde. If I can't get that one back, we're gonna have to battery it. Yep. So we're at kids. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed these. Weird videos. I don't know. Peyton will be back out. She had the homework and stuff. She's been busy, tired at the end of the day. So um, <laughs> we have so much to do. Nothing but time. So I once heard someone say, <laughs> What's the quote of the day? <laughs> and I just. Mm -hmm. Think about that one. Yeah. Words to live by. Just keep on wrenching, kids.